This is the worst golf course in all of America. This is Pascal in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Terrible condition today. Grass is awful. They're mowing actively, so they removed all of the tee markers and just threw them over to the side. That's fine, it wasn't like I was about to hit anyways. There's chain link fence surrounding the course. I will say the only redeeming quality for this course is that this was the course that Arnold Palmer played in in college at Wake Forest. But that's pretty much it. T markers over here, awful grass. There's not even a cart path on most of the holes. It's just gravel. Some of the holes don't even have gravel. You just drive on the fairway. I guess this is what a $24 round of golf will get you. I played a lot here as a kid. Um, it was, it's always been fun. It's a fun course. It's just, just sad to see how run down it's kind of gotten. Now this is a nine hole course. So you, if you're trying to play 18, you just play the same nine holes twice. And this is an example of a hole that does not have the cart path. I will say the course does a great job of playing to its demographic. Lots of untucked shirts, lots of t-shirts, the occasional tank top, almost no one wearing spikes. Everyone wears tennis shoes here. There's ant, there's fire ant hills in the tee box, weeds everywhere. It's just good Southern blue collar roots right here. There really is no such thing as golf etiquette at Pascal Golf Club. You can do pretty much whatever you want. There's guys out here that are, and I'm, I'm guilty as well of drinking 40 ounce glass bottles of Miller High Life. Um, there's even tire tracks on some of the greens. It's really a once in a lifetime experience. You can't get this experience at hardly any other golf club. If you're in the, the Raleigh area, definitely come check it out. I hope I didn't fail to mention that the quality of these golf carts is absolutely tremendous. Not to flex or anything, but from where I was hitting was about 156 yards, and I did put it right here. Now there's no need to worry if you've got a case of the shanks. The fairways are so wide open that you just literally cannot miss them. Now who couldn't fall in love with a course who has power lines obstructing any type of shot from the 150 yard range. If you forgot your wedge at the last hole, no problem. The next hole probably has someone who left one here too. As far as having any type of cart path, this is about as uh, smooth as it gets. Now, if you're trying to get some good spin control on your ball, uh, hitting from around the green, good luck, because your ball might just land on the cart path. And don't worry, if you're a fan of lots of noise when you're teeing off, just check out this hole. 